code signal arcade array max consecutive song hello internet my name is joshua and i'll be solving array max consecutive <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> i'll be solving array max consecutive sum for code signal so let's begin Given an array of integers, find a maximum possible sum of some of its k consecutive elements. So for example, 2, 3, 5, 1, 6, and you only can go up to two elements, consecutive elements. And you want to find all the possible sums of two consecutive elements, and if you go through them, for this array, you could find that 8 is the maximum sum. So how would I solve this one? Did practice a little bit with this, as you can see right here below, and here's how I think this would be the best way to solve it. So first we want to initialize, um, well first, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a window, a window the size of k through this array. So for example, let's just say it's k equals 2, right? So in this case, the window is going to be a size of 2, and we're going to iterate through this whole array, and within the win window, we're going to calculate the sum. Now, if we find a sum that is... For example, we go to 3, 5. This sum is larger than the previous sum calculated from the window in the previous index. Then we update the maximum sum as that value. Let me just do a visual example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, actually, we should just copy this one. It's much more easier to work with. All right, so our window is 2. So here it's 5. The maximum value we find here is 5. But if we go to the next one, 3, 5, it's going to be 8. So we need to go substitute 8 with that value. If we go to the next window, 5 and 1, 6 is not bigger than 8. So we keep 8 as a maximum. And 1 and 6, 7, close, but no cigar. Max is still 8. And we return 8 as a max possible sum. So how do we do this? I would say we need a f to get that maximum sum to initialize the first few values, the kth values. I think that would take about OK time. And since we're iterating through this whole input array, it'd be about O of n time. And um, let me think about this. I think we could do this in constant space, actually, and I could show you how. So let's begin. Int the sum. This would be called the current sum. Actually, we'll just call it cur current sum calculated from the window. Actually, we'll just call it window. A wind is equal to. We're going to create a helper method to initialize that sum. All right, and how do we do that? It's going to be int initialize sum, um, int input array. I'm going to shorten it to just n to make it easy. Int k. What is that kth value? So let's see. We want the int sum equals zero. So, okay. So now we just want to get the first few values through that window. And since we know the constraint that um, it's going to have at least three values, we're definitely going to know that the kth value is not going to be greater than the length of the input array, which is pretty cool. So keep going until you reach the kth value, into plus plus, nice, then we return the sum that's calculated, and we with that in, we do sum plus equals all the indexes that goes through to the end, there you gotta. And let's see here about this one, I'm gonna call just win like this, okay, there you go. Now we return the sum, and we're gonna have that um, the first sum that we'll calculate that will be used to compare as we go through this whole array. Now, um, we also want to have int max. And that max that we have so far currently is just win right now that will be, that'll be used to compare with. And now when we go to a for loop through this whole array, int equals zero, and is less than um, input array dot length. And since, oh, actually we don't want to start from zero. I'm going to tell you why. We already know what that sum is for that initialized sum in the beginning. So we'll start at index equals 1. We're going to go to the next part of the window. Like, for example, we're going to start right here. Okay. Now, index less than input rate at length, int plus plus. All right, now what can we do now? Oh, and since that we're going to have that window of kth size, we don't want to go all the way down to the end of the length. It's going to reach in, it's going to have an out of bounds exception. To avoid that, we probably do want to calculate the value at that kth, at that minus kth part of the input array. And let's see about this. Okay, so when we go through the window, the window is going to be equal to um, win. But since we don't need this value from from um, when we move the window, like we're say we go from here to here, I could subtract that value out from that window array. 
So input array, we just remove that index minus one value, the previous value, and we want to update the new value that it moved into, which in this case would be five in here, or translate it into this for loop um, iteration. I'll call it, it's gonna be about int plus k minus one. I believe it's gonna be like that. All right. Or is it just int plus k? Oh boy. Hmm. Let me think about this. Int minus one. So let's just say it's gonna be two. So I subtract this one right here. And two plus n plus one. Two plus one is three. But we don't want exactly the third value. We'll want the index at that value. So it's gonna be two minus one is one, one plus one. So it's definitely gonna be into plus k minus one. Yeah, definitely. And now we do this cool math.max and we just take whatever is the maximum. Is it the window value or is it the max value? And it's described, I already described right here before how that works. And once it calculates that whole maximum value, um, we return it. So let's see if this works. Okay, that's a good sign, but not yet until we submit this whole test. Oh boy. This is great. Hot diggity dong. Alright guys, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And um, you know, if you if you do like and subscribe, I'm gonna give you Hmm, what can I give you guys? I'm running out of uh, things to give. There's so many people who are liking and subscribing to my content. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'll give you a bag of Java beans for your coffee, guys. You know, when you're working and doing all-nighters at your college, at your work, at home, you're going to need some Java coffee beans just to, you know, chill out, I suppose. So if you like and subscribe, you'll see a bunch of Java beans in your cup of mug of coffee or your glass or stein, your chalice or whatever, and ready and brewed the drink. Just kidding. You guys have a good day. See ya.